Hello and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. In today's episode, we have an extremely amazing module that is far more impressive than what its marketing and YouTube video suggests. In fact, when I saw the video for it, I swear it did a disservice because this thing is honestly unbelievably cool. I am, of course, talking about the Gravity Offline Language Learning Voice Recognition Sensor, which is not only capable of understanding pre-built commands, but can actually learn new ones. If you want the chance to win one of these modules before I delete all the comments and claim this one for myself, leave a comment below telling us how you would use it. Okay, let's do this. Hello, robot. Play the intro music. Play the intro music. Gravity Offline Language Learning Voice Recognition Sensor, or GLORVERS for short, is an extremely powerful itty-bitty module that has not only the ability to understand up to 121 built-in commands, but can actually learn 17 custom ones. This means that you can speak to this module to make it send different messages to whatever you have it connected to. And this could be a microbit, an Arduino, or ESP32. Really, it could connect to any microcontroller that has either an I2C or UART port. I really shouldn't have to tell you why this module is awesome, but if you insist, I will. This module not only has 121 pre-programmed commands, it can learn new ones. They don't even have to be words. It could be a cat's meow, the sound of thunder, or even the sound of the non-existent TV licensing enforcers banging on your door asking you to come inside after sending hundreds of letters threatening that they will eventually come around. The learning of this module is done entirely locally, so there is no need for reprogramming via the cloud or even via a computer. And that means this unit could be kept entirely separate from any computing system, making it the most secure mechanism for controlling devices. In fact, you could be cheeky and combine multiple commands to act as a secure password. So yeah, you can see just how much potential this module has. Oh, and by the way, it includes the microphone and speaker, unlike other modules that have that flapping <laughs> around being held down by hot glue. As I said earlier, this module has 121 pre-programmed phrases that it can understand, such as go forward, display number one, and turn on the lights. But sadly for my Filipino viewers, it doesn't understand buksang ang ilaw. For those who are English, that's open the lights. Furthermore, 17 customizable phrases can be programmed, but they don't have to be spoken words. They could be any sound, including a snap of the fingers, a whistle, or even the sound of a hand in a cookie jar trying to desperately find the chocolate ones. The module only needs four connections, with two of those being power and the other two being data for I2C, that's clock and data, and for UART, that's RX and TX. As such, it is pretty much compatible with all microcontrollers and computing systems on the planet. Its operating voltage range from 3.3 to 5 volts makes it highly versatile. The onboard microphone has a sensitivity of minus 28 dB, which means that it can be activated from a distance, and the use of a single wake-up word means that it can be put to sleep when not in use, and then activated by that word. Furthermore, the combination of the microphone, speaker, and processor into a single module eliminates the need for any external equipment to get this device working, making projects compact and easy to build. Finally, its dimensions of 49 millimeters by 32 millimeters really just says it all. There are so many ideas that I have for such a kit, but let's start with the more simpler ones. Firstly, this module would be perfect for any robotic system, able to take commands and perform actions purely on spoken words. This could include robots in a workshop, helping picking out tools and putting rubbish away, those that make coffee, and even those that do your taxes. But I suppose the tax one would be somewhat limited. Yeah, I have an unhealthy relationship with the tax system. Secondly, this module is perfect for IoT control systems that need to ensure privacy by not being connected to cloud services. Unlike famous products out there, <coughs> it's Alexa, this module doesn't spend all day spying on your conversations, trying to blast ads at you, which we all know they do. Instead, whatever you say in front of this module never leaves the module. In fact, it doesn't even have the capability, so it's perfect for high security environments that need voice control. Now, my third idea, which I'm sure is possible, is a unique security password system. 
If you program three or more commands with keywords or sounds, you can turn that into a passcode for some secure system, whether it's a vault, a vehicle, or the only supply of lead solder that I have left. The Graffiti Offline Language Learning Voice Recognition Sensor is an excellent demonstration of how modern voice-controlled systems don't have to spy on its users, use online cloud services, or stream sensitive data over networks. Furthermore, it also perfectly shows how modules should be made simple, include all the needed hardware, and only use I2C or UART as the means of communication with a host system. Honestly, of all the modules I've ever seen and tested, this one is going in my top three, but I'm actually thinking top one now. If you like what we do here at Electromaker and want to show your support, then like this video, leave a comment saying how amazing and gorgeous I am, and head over to the Electromaker store where you can get this and many more awesome goodies for your next project. This is Robin Mitchell, signing off. Yeah.